Okay, so, so far, this experiment has been a great example of why technology doesn't necessarily improve efficiency all the time, because <laughs> I've got all of this stuff set up, and I spend more time fiddling with it and making making more complicated videos um, than actually making videos. So, anyway, we are back online, and we are making videos again. So, I'm going to try something a little bit different today. <clears throat> I'm going to be drawing on this... Uh, on this Word document. Now, Word isn't exactly the best place to, to, be, to be drawing things. Um, but um, I think for the for, for, for now, I, I, I'm kind of used to Word, so all the quirks and the weirdnesses of it, I can kind of deal with. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try in Word, and we'll, we'll see if it's a complete disaster. <laughs> we'll try something else. Um, I have tried to make this video a couple of times before. So it's not exactly a, a, a completely off the cuff musing here, but um, yeah, I, I keep I keep sort of uh, pulling back the scope of this one quite quite a bit because um, I, it started out with sort of like really delving into into some of the the more complexities of number theory, and and uh, it's really difficult to speak about things like that without starting from the very beginning. So. Um, Let's just let's just sort of lay out the 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 overall the the, the overall point of all of this. Um, so in the previous video, I spoke about Hilbert and some of Hilbert's um, so, 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 so some of the changes in Hilbert's language, the subtle sort of changes in the language that he uses um, over the course of his life, <clears throat> from from uh, the the end of the nineteenth century, um, you know, to the to the uh, mid um, to, to to the mid twentieth century. Um, and in one of those quotes, he mentioned a whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of different important people that um, would be useful to, to go over. It. And the first one of these um, is Kronecker, Leopold Kronecker. So this is the first one that I just want to deal with in in uh, in this sort of s sort of sub sub series. <laughs> um, so Kronecker. I'm not really going to go into a lot of life detail about these people, but but he he, he was a 19th century mathematician, and his his claim to sort of popular fame is really the the quote um, where he said um, God created the integers; everything else was made by man. And of course, uh, I have a I have a book um, by Stephen Hawking uh, called God Created the Integers, <laughs> um, um, which which kind of has a theological spin to it. But I think what Kronecker meant by this is is, is really that that um, a lot of the concepts that are used in mathematics are not um, are, are not are not as as uh, fundamental metaphysically as they may appear to begin with. If, um, so I'll try and I'll try and sort of make sense of that um, in this video. Um, and really starting starting with natural numbers of course natural numbers are, um, are, are <laughs> the natural place the natural numbers to start with um, they're, they're also called the counting numbers and the main concept that, that I want to bring across in this video is just how how concepts relate to numbers and mathematics I'm not a mathematician I make no claims to being a mathematician, um, but uh, especially the, when one deals into the sort of the, the, the more obscure sort of corners of philosophy, um, mathematics becomes more and more important, partly because mathematics has the central role to play in science. And it's really difficult to deal with, with philosophy about anything these days um, if you're not going to address science. Uh, and that is not just not just sort of like oh well you know philosophy uh, Quine uh, sort of famously sort of held that well philosophy is only useful uh, to the extent that it sort of can can uh, can help out science and that beyond that it it, it has no role to play essentially um, I, I that's not my position on this sort of thing um, essentially my position is more along the lines that. Um, Science, science affects us to such a, to such a degree in in every aspect of, of our lives. Um, it's it's not not just in terms of the things that we use, the technology that we use, um, but but also just just in social policy and things like that. A lot a lot of 
a, a lot of just day-to-day -day things have become scientific. And the, the way we the way we we organize our societies are supposed to be scientific. Um, often it's not, but 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 it it uses concepts from science, um, at least allegedly. Um, so it's important to understand where those concepts come come from and what they mean in order to understand our modern society. So it's not just a case of using science to understand society. It, it's, it's that society is being shaped and governed by what people understand of science. Um, and this, this sort of dual nature of the thing is, is actually, this is actually sort of a propos because this is sort of what I, what I wanted to deal with here. So if we, if we, if we, if we go back and, and we look at natural numbers, so natural numbers, as I say, are just the natural numbers. They're, the numbers like one, two, three, and here comes the big one and so forth. Now, I'm, 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 going, I'm going to just, just, just clarify what I mean here is not infinite, maybe, 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 maybe I should, I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to put in square brackets just so that we know that, 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 that we're not talking about carrying on infinitely here. Um, it, it's, it's, a, it's a finite set of numbers. It ends at some, some point when we stop counting. So we can count one object and two objects. Uh, now, how many objects? Well, it's like uncountably many. <laughs> and that, that, that term uncountably many um, will come up again <laughs> in a slightly different context. But, but, um, but it's, not, it's not a case of in principle, you can't put a number to, to everything. We can just keep on inventing new numbers. And every, every time we see a new object, we can give it a new number. So uh, this, is, this, this sort of thing isn't infinite it's it, it, the, the, the 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 number of things is finite um but but we we can keep on adding indefinitely so so maybe a better word is indefinite rather than infinite um so this is this is this is kind of a an important uh an important concept to bear in mind with with, with this so I'm, I'm, I'm putting that dot 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 in in little brackets here um so Obviously, when, when we're dealing with natural counting numbers, um, we, we're dealing with objects. So you've got one apple and you've got another apple. Let me, let me draw these. So you've got one apple. This is a blue apple, just because I haven't changed the defaults. <laughs> there's, a, there's a blue apple and we've got another blue apple. And together we have two blue apples. So um, that's fine. But let's say that these weren't apples. Maybe these are, are, are puddles of water. So we add one puddle of water to another puddle of water and we end up with one puddle of water. Oh dear. So the, 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 the main thing is this, this problem that, that, that comes up is, is, is a really, really important conceptual issue. So it's not just, it's not just something silly. Um, because essentially what this tells us about, about the way that we deal with numbers um, is that there's two different sorts of things going on here. The, the, the one is that you have objects in the world which you, you're going to... I don't know if I can draw on these objects. Oh, hello. Yeah, there we go. We can, we can draw little numbers. This is object number one, and this is object number two. We've got two, two objects in the world, and as long as they're discrete, as long as they're distinct, um, we, can, we, 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 can, we can count with them. So one, two, and if we had another one, we would call that one number three. Fairly straightforward. So that's no problem. Um, but this only works when you have certain sorts of objects that behave in certain sorts of ways where you can't overlap these things. Um, here we have to bring we have to bring one to the front. Let's bring one to the front. There we go. Okay. So so when you can overlap things like that, well then the rules don't apply. So the second way of thinking of this, the the the, the, the one is that you're label you're labeling certain sorts of objects in the world. The second way of thinking of it is that you have certain rules uh, which, which apply to these abstract things which you've created. You've created these new things, the natural numbers, uh, the, the number three. And there's certain rules that the number three be, uh, observes and it behaves in certain sorts of ways. And the way that it behaves connects up to a certain class, a certain set of things in the real world. So there's certain things in the real world that behave in the way that the number three behaves. And it's those sorts of things that the counting numbers be, uh, describe um, or, or, or sort of apply to. 
Um, so, so it's important to, to think of these, these two very, very different, and, the, and on the surface it might not seem very different, but two very, very different ways of thinking about what a number means. Uh, the, the the one the the the, the 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 one is where a number labels a thing in the world, and and the other thing is where the number is the thing in the world, and and it connects to to to, to certain classes of of things in in the physical world. Um, so this this whole, this whole concept of of numbers being other sorts of things which exist in another sort of place. Um, is it really a metaphysical sort of like a like a spiritual almost concept, and and this is this is really important to keep these these two things. There's this this basic idea in mind that the num numbers numbers you 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 get metaphysics and spiritualism and all these things. This is why a lot of mathematicians often towards the the later parts of their career uh, once they established themselves as being these hard nosed mathematical people um, often turn to metaphysics. Um, and and spiritualism and and all kinds of more uh, less less concrete <laughs> things because it's in the numbers it, it comes it comes right there from the very beginning so just to carry this this thing on on a little bit um, to the to the next to the next little point um, actually I think this might be a good place to stop things let me see how long the video is we are actually this doesn't tell me how long the video is. It's not very good. Okay, let's carry on one, one, one more, one more, one more step. So we'll 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 go on to rational numbers. So um, one one thing that we can notice is that the number zero is missing there, and that's quite important because again, when when we when we have this concept of of uh, think thinking of numbers describing things in the real world. Um, One one of the other sorts of things that we can use numbers to describe is is lengths. Um, so 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 if you're building a pyramid, um, you, you might need to keep track of not only how many bricks you have, but also how how many bricks you need to stack in order to get to a certain point in space. Um, and once you start doing that, um, it starts to make sense to 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 think of ratios like i've got one pallet of bricks that i've that i've gotten and that's going to get me halfway to the to, to 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 the length that i need so i need another pallet of bricks i need two pallets two times a half gets me to the full length so so this this is this is where rational numbers come comes in but the important thing is that we don't really need the number zero here we we, we the, the the whole idea of a of having zero apples um, doesn't really make a lot of sense intuitively when we're thinking about things in in terms of that sort of um, uh, in, 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 in terms of that way where where you're where you're applying labels to things in the world applying the label zero to a, you're not really applying it to anything in the world because there's nothing there so that doesn't make a lot of sense and simply when you're dealing with lengths zero length um, you can you can take that out of system, and this whole idea of taking things out of system is really important because that's going to come up again and again. Um, and so you can take it out of system by calling things with zero length are a special kind of different sort of thing. They're points. Uh, lines have length. Points don't have length. So so zero length is just a different sort of thing. We don't need to deal with it by adding a new number to that. Um, because we can we can add points of zero length. We just we just can't change from points of zero length to having a length, so so that whole notion is very important. Um, so rational numbers are are the numbers like a half and a third. Well, okay, I'm gonna start. I'm I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this like we we, we well we, we can start this way. A half and a third and a quarter and a fifth and we can carry on like that and. This time I'm going to use I'm just going to use the proper dots because when when we when we get to rational numbers a new kind of thing crops up. Um, so so one 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 thing to notice is the way that I've that I've lined them up up here is I've just I've just gone um, so so this this is if we if we break apart one object into into two parts and we take one of those two parts we get a half. 
We take one object and break it into three parts and take one of those parts. We get a third. And so, so the, the, these are the inverse of, of, of the, the, the natural numbers. The, these are the harmonic numbers, the, 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 the inverses of, of, of the natural numbers. And the harmonic numbers are really, really important. And we'll, get, we'll get to that at some stage. I don't know why this one went small and this one didn't. Let's make it. There we go. <laughs> okay, just so it's nice and consistent. Okay, but I want to deal with something slightly different in this video. Um, so I'm going to deal with if we if we go if we break something in half and then we break it in half again and then we break it in half again and then we break it in half again. So in other words, now we we sort of dealing with the with the well we're dealing with the multiplication. We're just repeating the same action over and over again. So uh, again, this is this is this is this is something. We, we, we up to this point we've been adding things together we've been sort of how many lengths and stuff like that now we, we we've added a new way of thinking about how things combine and that's multiplication uh, how many of, of these things so in order to get to rational numbers in that sense from from natural numbers um, we we really had to invent another kind of natural number it's not immediately obvious but if i say two times three um, equals six. Um, uh, the only way that the, 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 that that you can get there is 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 by is is by um, is, is by having two sorts of number, uh, one sort of number here, one sort of number here, and it doesn't matter which one is which. But but the one tells you how many objects there are, and the other one tells you how many times the, the, those are. So you you you, you can have two bushels of wheat, two times, well, two bushels, two, two bags of three, of three apples, let's call it that, two bags of, of three apples, but, so that first number that, that we use there, two bags of three apples, it wouldn't make sense to say, I, I, I have uh, two bags of apples of three bags of apples, that, that doesn't make sense, that first number doesn't, doesn't, count things it's 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 not a it, it, it's it's a different sort of number um and so so when when we're dividing um we, we, we're sort of making that different sort of number explicit and this is why rational numbers are different numbers from from natural numbers um and so a really good way of of really seeing that in in practice is is when we is, 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 is when we do this process of, of repeatedly um, multiplying rational numbers with, with each other. So, um, so the, the, the classic example of this is Zeno's paradox, and this this Zeno's paradox. A lot, of, a lot of things in mathematics comes down to paradoxes, because paradoxes sort of show you where you've got to invent a new a new concept essentially the moment you run into a paradox you, you kind of have to have to expand your expand your way of thinking in order to deal with it so let's let's call this let's make that eight long okay so imagine well actually let's let's start let's start and we're gonna we're gonna make that uh how long should we make it make it is that too long that's too long let's let's make it let's make it 18 actually yeah, 20 works let's, let's do 20 um, that just about fits. Okay, good. Okay, so there's there's our there's our, our, our line, and what we're going to do. Oh, hang on, I was supposed to copy. Let's try that again. Oh, hang on, why is this not working? Sorry, one second. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Let's make this shorter. <laughs> I think that's probably where our problem is. Let's make it. Let's make it sixteen. That'll that'll do. Okay, copy that. Why is this not working? Okay, there we go. Okay, so. Ah, <laughs> come on, work with me here. Okay, uh, it's because now I've got this, I've got this behind, behind the thing there. Yeah. Oh dear, there we go. Okay. Okay, let's cut. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and this, ladies and gentlemen, is why Microsoft Word is a terrible program to work with if you're trying to do to, to demonstrations because because it just ah <laughs> sometimes does stuff like that. 
Um, see, it's it's uh, there. Why are you putting it over there, you silly? Yeah. See, that's where all my all my attempted lines were were going. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, come back here. Okay. So, so okay, we had a line here that is sixteen. So we're going to make this one eight. So that's half of the half of the full length. There we go. And let's give it a let's give it a different color there. Okay. So. And. Now where did you put my line? Okay. I'm just going to draw everything up here, <laughs> just because for some reason, Word likes to put things there. I don't know why. It just does it. Okay. So anyway, here we go. So you're going to make that four. And half of that again. See, now I've put it in the right place. I don't know why. Okay. So if, if, if we add this on, now, we've left a little bit of a gap there. But it, it, it essentially, all, all of these, if, if, I, if I add a second one of these eighth ones, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fill up the, the, the same length. So eight plus four plus four equals 16. But if we keep repeating that operation of multiplying um, the, 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 the ratio, in other words, this one is going to be half of this one, and this one we need to be half of this one. So this one needs to be two, and it also needs to be a different color, so we can see it's different. There we go. Um, then as we keep stacking these on, so we'll stack another one on there, and we'll make this one one. I change this. Let's try that again. One. There we go. Oh, hang on. What just happened there? Okay. Let's, where's our one one? And our one one? Okay. And let's make this one purple. Yeah, we just have to get that to stick onto the end there. Good. Okay. And then obviously this one, the next one, is going to be is going to be half. And what color shall we make it? Hmm. Orange. Are you half? No, you're not half. Why are you not half? Oh, uh, it's because it needs to be comma. That's why. Right. Here we go. That's a bit. That's a bit. That's a bit small to see. Let's let's make it. What color haven't we used? There we go. Um, and let's let's do one more just 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 for luck, just just so that one can see. As we add these on, each time we're kind of getting a little bit closer to where we're supposed to be. And I think I think I'm sort of I'm sort of messing it up a little bit because they they are. Um, let's make this one. Make it red again. But as we're adding these on, we we we're getting we're getting a little bit closer to the end each time, but by less and less and less and less and less each step we each step we take. This this color needs to be. I think this color needs to be different. Let's make it. Let me make that yellow. It sticks out quite nicely. Um. So, in order to get all the way to the end, now let's 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 take this back to to a physical to a physical thing again, because because we're talking about physical things here. We're, we're talking about the distance. Um, we 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 take our arrow. We have our we have our, our, our archer, and he's firing an arrow all the way to the end. Now we know the arrow is going to hit the end here. Here's the target at the end. Let's let's give him a target. Um, so we can know where to hit. Here's our little target over there. Ding! And no fault. There we go. There's our target. So we know he hits the target. Let's give him a bullseye. There we go. Derp. And now where, where did you put the line now? <laughs> uh, oh, there it went. <laughs> Silly git. Okay. It's, there you go. Come on. Come on. Work with me. Okay. I'm just going to do it over here. And there we go. There's our target. Okay. Let's make that red. Derp. Okay. It's a bit of a derpy target, but anyway, the point is the archer hits the hits the target there. Let's get rid of this line over here. There we go. Um but as we're adding these numbers together, um it's getting closer and closer and closer, but every step it, it's it's not it's it, it's never going to actually hit the target if we just add them like like this, um, unless unless 
we use a different concept for this dot 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 over here and this 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 is really the point here we said well we we we, we can't we carry on counting until we run out of patience essentially um uh, it's it, it we can't we, we carry on counting indefinitely um here this is not the case we're not we, so in order for for this to make sense um this needs to be to be in infinity so in in other words it, it doesn't stop you just carry on going and going and going and going so every, every time you go half the distance and then you get another half a distance and another half a distance another half the distance um, all the way until you get all because we know you end up going all the way and you know that each time you have to cover half the distance so the only way that that works is that this actually carries on infinitely many times so that division doesn't end so it's very important that this concept is not the same as this concept um and and that's just a very good illustration of the sorts of thing that 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 happens in mathematics a lot um where you have a physical thing that you want to describe and you you have your your system of numbers that you're using to describe it but in order for, for the for the two things to work you have to invent a new a new concept and this this is why mathematics uh is so is, is so useful for for inventing new ways of thinking about the world um because now now we have this thing of, of a completed infinity and this was actually the thing coming back to where we started with Kronika, this was the thing that Kronika was was moaning about is the whole notion of a completed infinity um and of course uh, and unfortunately the 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 the, the, the problem is is that as as we'll see later later on that you can't really do without that concept in mathematics, um, but um, it's, 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 it's essentially adding adding these these new concepts kind of kind of come comes in for free <laughs> when 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 you're when you're when you're doing things with the, with the numbers you're 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 using it for 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 certain purposes. Um, so that that's basically that's basically the 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 whole point of 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 this of this video um and i think i think i'll probably just just leave it there um there was one other thing i wanted to add and i cannot for the life of me remember what it was <laughs> um, um and it's going to hit me the moment i stop recording um but i think whatever that was i'll i'll add it on to the onto, onto the next video the basic the basic gist of this video was was just that that we that 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 that, that every every time we 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 do we do something oh yes sorry now it's not it's it's come to me sorry sorry to uh, when 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 i was speaking about natural numbers like that and puddles of water uh, there was there was something that kind of came up so if, if we're dealing with puddles of water here and, and it's a, it's a really a, it's a similar kind of process where where when we had the two objects um it was fine but when we combined them it didn't work anymore and in order to make that work we we can we we, we can do something special um is we can invent a new concept a new a new way of counting things so before we were just counting things that were discrete objects in the world um now what we can do is we can think of well what's the mass of of of, of these things or the volume now it turns out with, with when you're dealing with, with with puddles of water when you when you say that the volume okay now we have to turn this around the volume of this one is two and i'm, I'm going to guess the volume is about one for this one um but essentially it should also be the mass as well um should work this way when we add these together so 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 now now we've invented a whole new and a whole new kind of thing we've invented so it's this two actually means it's two mass things oops hang on sorry so we're gonna we're gonna add another circle here and we're gonna make this one make this one red so here's here's one mass thing and here's another one so we need two of these mass things or these volume things to make up this this puddle and we only need one for this one so that's what the two and the one means now this time 
And now when we add it together, now this works. So we've invented a new concept in, in, in order to, to extend um, the, the, the way that, that, that our numbers were working in one domain when we had discrete objects into another domain where, where we had fungible objects. So um, similarly, it, it, works, it works exactly the same way when, when, when we extend into, into dealing with numbers that, that, that just deal with, with discrete objects and, and numbers that deal with, with, with how many discrete objects there are. We've added a new concept. And once we've added that new concept, suddenly we found, oh dear, now we've run into this problem. We need to add another new concept. We need to add the concept of completed infinity in, in order for all this to make sense. So this is really, really, really important in the history of mathematics is that we keep inventing these things and then, and then realizing, oh, this causes some problem. We have to add some extra concept um, to make all of this make sense. And it's that extra concept that we find then, oh, that concept describes this sort of thing in the world. Um, and that's why a lot of mathematicians start to believe that, that, there's, that mathematics is, is the world or, or has some metaphysical... Um, um, truth and meaning and existence separate from the existence of physical normal things that we that we sort of are used to dealing with in a day-to-day -day basis so that that was really that was really the point of the video um so i'm glad i remembered what that what that final one was because i think that kind of tied everything together there um so so yes i think i think i'll leave it there and have a good one then okay cheers <laughs>